Dear Federal President Heinz Fischer, members of government, distinguished guests, participants, Joel, thanks again for choosing Vienna as a place for your conference. I will call you on Sunday. I hope you will not regret your decision. Uh, so it will make you sure that we do everything to support you for this conference. As you mentioned, and as my friend, the city governor mentioned, the war in Syria has been going on for years and brought tremendous sufferings for the Syrian people. Not at least it had caused enormous refugee flows. The majority of Syrian refugees went to the neighboring countries, Jordan, Lebanon, Turkey. As living conditions have been worsening in these countries for refugees, more and more people are hitting the road towards Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, let me point it out. The right to asylum has to be guaranteed in Europe. That's a human right. And I will try to defend it. It's attitude and character that counts in this context. Regardless of that, the situation in Syria needs to be stabilized. International efforts are required. After the international economic crisis, the refugee crisis has now hit Europe. Its root causes are economic and social inequalities and the failure to solve global conflicts in a peaceful way. That's why we have to aim primarily at ending the war in Syria and creating livable conditions everywhere in the world. At the same time, we now have to confront the challenge of guaranteeing the right to asylum for refugees in Europe. Countries who build fences are simply redirecting refugees flows to their neighbors. We also need a more effective protection of the EU's external border and the so-called hotspots, reception and registration centers in Greece and Italy. Those who have the right to asylum have to get it, but those who don't have it have to be returned to their country of origin. We can only come up with these challenges if we cooperate. Two years ago, I have already pointed out that the refugee issue is a common European challenge. For that reason, I have always supported binding quota for the distribution of refugees. At that time, we and some other countries were in an isolated position. Now you can feel a little bit of progress, but not enough to reach our goals. Europe will only be strong if it continues to act in solidarity, especially even in hard times. What we don't need in Europe is provincialism and an attitude that wants all countries to pull up fences. Right to the contrary. What we need now in Europe is cooperation and an understanding that we will only master this difficult situation in a joint manner. Thus, ladies and gentlemen, cohesion is fragile. There is the real danger that cohesion might break if we don't confront the challenges ahead. It's a task for responsible politics to find solution also for difficult problems, as you also mentioned. Ladies and gentlemen, therefore, I wish you a successful Congress, a pleasant stay, in Vienna and fruitful discussions.